and single rare dark mage bad hob car yeah something like that hello again youtubers and card fight fans 24 7 here again for card fight 24 7 with our card fight vanguard box opening video brought to you by cardfightcapital.com we're launching soon with that website we'll have full e-commerce blogs forums card day and more if you go to cardfightcapital.com right now before we launch you can join a mailing list to be alerted as to when we actually fully launch the site you can also like our facebook page and follow our twitter which are both linked below for today's video we have the second box in this channel of bt04 eclipse evolutionary shadows um, being just the second box we're opening, we will still open all the packs in the box. And we should do this in one part, because there's less explaining and stuff to do, so. Um, the promo pack here has a Dark Dictator and a Grade 4 Great Nature. If you want to see those, check out the first box opening to save time and repetitiveness. We won't be taking a look at those. And now while I get these cut open, to make it a little quicker, I will speed up the video. Alright, we'll do this half at a time, so there's the first half of the box, and let's see how we do. First pack, we got Garnet Dragon Flash, and our first box took us to like the 4th, 5th last pack to get him. We did end up with 3 of them though. Enagroid Comrade, Raider Mantis, Abyss Freezer, and Single Rare Knight of Darkness Rugos. So just a single rare to start off this box, not as good as the previous box. Blau Panzer, that's the first car I got in part one and part two of our first box opening. Likes to be the first car in the pack, I guess. Iron Cutter Beetle, Red Gem Carbuncle, Grapple Mania, and Single Rare, Dark Mage, Bad Hob Car. Yeah, something like that. And as I said in the previous video, I will butcher some names, I'm sure. I'm just going to pronounce them as quickly as I can, basically, and if it's wrong, it's wrong. Not that big a deal. Lava Arm Dragon, Black Sage Charon, Sonic Kakata, Grim Reaper, and Enigman Flow. And if I said something wrong on our first video for this set and you commented saying a correct pronunciation, I'm recording this box in the same day, so I will not have seen that comment yet. That's why uh, I made me make the same mistake multiple times, even if I've already been corrected in comments on a past video. Just so you know. Enigman Ripple. Dancing Wolf, Abyss Healer, Raider Mantis, and Triple Rare, Darkness Maiden Maka, or Macha, or something like that. Shadow Paladin. When this unit is placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, if you have a Shadow Paladin Vanguard, you pay the cost, which is Counter Blast 2. If you do, search your deck for up to one Grade 1 or less Shadow Paladin, call it to Rearguard in the same column as this unit, and shuffle your deck. So, our first hit of the box, a Double Rare. Moving right along here then, we got Eisenkugel, Demon World Castle Donnerschlag, Cosmo Fane, Flame Seed Salamander, and Blaster Dark. The best single rare possibly that you can get in any set right now, at least value and playability wise. So we'll put that one in a sleeve despite being just a single rare. It's actually the third one we've gotten so far now through just a little bit more than one box. Enigma Shine, Snogle, Red Gem Carbuncle, Sonic Kakata, and Full Bow. Demon World Castle Fatalita, or something like that. Pupa Mutant Giraffa, Justice Rose, Fighting Battleship Prometheus, and Double Rare Blau Kluger. Nova Grappler Grade 2. And there's his effect. You can pause there and read if you need to. So, two double rares. So, we still got all three triple rares. Oh, no, wait. That one's triple rare. My bad. So, we got two triple rares and four double rares left to find. Hopefully, we can find some good Shadow Paladin stuff here. Stealth Millipede. Amber Dragon Daylight. Medical Battler Rampley. Dark Side Trumpeter. And Cosmo Roar. 
Bruegel, Zapbau, Sharp Nail Scorpio, Abyss Freezer, and Enigman Rain. I think we're getting several single rares we did not get in our first box. Toolkit Boy, Iron Cutter Beetle, Red Gem Carbuncle, Cosmo Fane, and Violent Vesper. The distribution is not great on single rares. The first couple sets, it seemed like you wouldn't get many duplicates in a box and you get close to a full set of single rares. But now you get two or even three of some single rares and none of the others in one box, but just the way it is. Enigma Shine, Black Sage Chirin, Flame Seed Salamander, Fighting Battleship Prometheus, and Cosmo Roar. So that's a duplicate rare from this box already. That's one we got just a few packs ago. And obviously there's tons of single rares we did not get yet in this box. And there's some that we probably won't get in this box at all. Tail Joe, Black Sage Charon, Abyss Healer, Medical Battler Rampley, and Death Warden Antlion. I think that's the first one of those we've gotten uh, through nearly a box and a half. Doran Bow, Zap Bow, Army Penguin, Dark Side Trumpeter, and triple rare, Enigman Storm. Got that one the first box as well. Not one we're really looking for right now. And there's his ability. Pause to read if you need to. So just one triple rare left to get. Bruegel, Dancing Wolf, Sharp Nail Scorpio, Justice Cobalt, and Paralyzed Madonna. P guard for Mega Colony. Got that one last box as well. Still looking for that Shadow Paladin P guard. Would be nice. And last pack for the first side of the box here. Eisen Kugel, Iron Cutter Beetle, Grapple Mania, Abyss Freezer, and Water Gain. So, got half a box left to go here. And we'll speed up the video here while we cut open the packs again. All right, let's get back to business here, shall we? We got Glory Maker, Toolkit Boy, Snuggle, Fighting Battleship Prometheus, and Blau Junger. So we got one triple rare left to get, and three more double rares. Enigma Shine, Doranbau, Enigroid Comrade, Medical Battler Rampley, and Armored Fairy Shabila. Or something like that. Let's push these kind of in the back so I got more room to toss the packs. Tail Joe, Amber Dragon Daylight, Raider Mantis, Abyss Healer, and Silver Spear Demon Gushin. That's one I'm not sure if I'm about pronouncing right. We got three of that one so far, I think, counting our previous box. Enigma Ripple, Blau Panzer, Demon World Castle Donnerschlag, Grim Reaper, Double Rare, and Diamond Ace, Dimension Police P Guard. So, two P Guards, same two P Guards we got in our previous box. Still no Shadow Paladin P Guard. So, this box is getting very similar to our previous box, actually. Lava Arm Dragon, Blaster Javelin. Witch of Na Nostrum, Arian Hod, Justice Rose, and Gloom Flyman. Tail Joe, Enigma Shine, Witch of Nostrum, Arian Hod, Army Penguin, and Lizard Soldier Rayopia. Demon Royal Castle Fatalita, Doran Bow. Snuggle, Justice Cobalt, and Double Rare, Fane of Light, Garmore, Royal Paladin. Can't remember if we got that one in our previous box or not. I think we got a different thing. I'm thinking of a single rare Garmore we got. There's his abilities if you need to see. So let's see. That's four double rares. So we got one double rare and one triple rare left to find here in these remaining 
seven or eight or so packs. Stealth Millipede, Lava Arm Dragon, Amber Dragon Daylight, Dark Side Trumpeter, and Beast Knight Garmor. That, I think that's what I'm thinking of from our previous box. The Grade 2 Single Rare Garmor. Toolkit Boy, Garnet Dragon Flash. That's the first one we've gotten since the first pack of the box. Enagroid Comrade, Flame Seed Salamander, and Amber Dragon Dawn. So, six packs left here. Tail Joe, Brugal, Zap Bow, Sonic Kakata, and Mega Colony Battler B. Eisen Kugel, Stealth Millipede, Amber Dragon Daylight, Army Penguin, and Triple Rare, Heat Nail Salamander. Not a bad pull, but another one that we got in our previous box. Granted, this is all coming from the same case, so I shouldn't have put the same amount of everything, pretty much. But, so at this point, we get duplicates of consecutive boxes. We got those two in our previous box, and we got at least two duplicate double rares from our previous box as well. Enigma Ripple, Demon World Castle Fatalita, Pupa Mutant Giraffa, Grapple Mania, and Enigma Rain. Three packs to go, and... Whoops! <laughs> One double rare left to get. Yep, just four in the pile there. Eyes and Kugel, Garnet Dragon Flash, Zap Bao, Cosmo Fane, and Blau Junger. That'd be awesome if we can find the Shadow Paladin P Guard, though. Get all three P Guards in one box. Glory Maker, Dancing Wolf, Justice Cobalt, Justice Rose, and Guru Bao, or however you say it. Got that in our previous box as well. Now, just as much fun saying it then. So, one pack to go, but should have just a single rare in it here. Blaster Javelin, Witch of Nostrum, Arian Hod, Sharp Nail Scorpio, Grim Reaper, and Cursed Lancer. Single rare. So, just based on what we got in our previous box, and nothing else. Fairly disappointing box. Um, just one Blaster Dark this time. We got two in the previous box. Gorubao, which we got in the previous box. Fane of Light Garmore. Diamond Ace, which we got in the previous box. Paralyzed Madonna, we got in the previous box. Blau Kluger, can't remember, but I think we got that in the previous box. Heat Nail Salamander, we got in the previous box. Enigma and Storm, we got in the previous box. Add Darkness Maiden Maka. Um, I actually got those right behind me. Just take a real quick peek here. Yep, we got Blau Cougar there too. So, previous box, we got that one instead of the Garmor, and we got the Amber Dragon Eclipse instead of the Darkness Made in Maka. So, nearly identical boxes as far as the double rears, triple rears go, but nothing we can do about that. It just means in our next box, we should hopefully find a lot of cards we have not gotten yet in the set. So, if you haven't already, please subscribe. You can then get email alerts for all of our future video uploads here on Card Fight 24-7. Give us a big thumbs up for our great box opening, even though it was repetitive from our previous box. Check out CardFightCapital.com. Like I said, you can join our mailing list right now to get on our mailing list to be alerted as to when the website fully launches. We're targeting June 1st at the latest, hopefully. And you can also like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter. Links for those are below. I thank you for watching. And I'll see you next video.